Again, this is a video I probably never uploaded. Hey guys, so um, tomorrow, uh, well basically I've sh shown you all the steps in the the Hackintosh build part 2. The stage 2 for part 2, but um, tomorrow we're going to be testing to see if it works or not because uh, all we have to do now is just install a Fenby Wi-Fi card. You already know how to install an SSD I assume, you just need to get a SATA port connected into the motherboard. And we've put in some of these uh, sticky parts to the fan, so then they're more silent. But, you know, because like, it'll make it more silent. And uh, tomorrow, we're going to be seeing if it works or not, I'm going to be doing an Instagram stream of it. So, um, yeah, if you're in it, cool. Anyway, so uh, if you've not seen the last uh, episode, which you probably should, to get to understand the whole point of this, this is the Hackintosh I'm building. It's got a Core i5, 16GB DDR4 RAM, a Samsung 500GB SATA SSD, a ZR3 HD3 motherboard, with Intel chipset, 2370 Intel Core inside, and Intel Optan memory. And we've also got, uh, this is what it looks like right there. We've also got some screws in here, the motherboard, okay, the thingy. Corsair Carbide Series 5 spec, mid tower gaming case, the the rig here. Got the up here fan, the Vengrins DDR4 RAM box. Yeah, so that's the up here by the way. Uh this is the this is the gigabyte multigate installing. This is the the power uh, what I'm using. This is the like power source. And then down here is the CPU cooler. Just so then like it the CPU's cool. And uh, inside the with the Core i5, I got some free thermal paste added. We've got like uh, it. Ca it did come with some thermal paste. I chose to use the one that came with the Core i5. We had to um, we had to actually spread it, so it's not going to spread itself. Apparently, even though some piece of Rai videos, um, he he only adds in a little bit and spreads around by itself. And uh, these are other parts we're not using. We've got the Intel Wi-Fi card right here, two gigabytes of RAM, and a, dis a Toshiba disk drive at 600 gigabytes. These are old parts that we found from an old computer, probably James's mom's. And we've also got a HDD Sam a Seagate drive. So this isn't the uh, this isn't a SSD. It's a HDD. But after we've got this working, I can have in two drives at once. It's, it's actually pretty cool, I can have like more than two drives. So like inside there, uh, if you can see, there's a blue cable, that's the first tray to the SATA port. Where I plug in the SATA ports, it's pretty cool. And uh, if you're looking to get the same SSD as me, uh, here's what the SSD is. So, yeah. Um, now, um, I'm going to see you guys in the morning, because I'm definitely uh, not going to be doing it tonight, it's about like 9.55. Okay guys, so I just woke up right now, I'll show you the time on my um, Echo Show 5. So when we are finished with the PC build, I'm also exporting Matthew's YouTube video by the way, uh, we are going to do an Instagram live when, when it, like, we think it's going to work. No, we're so not. This is going to be today because uh, all we have to do is just add the Wi-Fi card. We can wait for the AIO back later. Okay, I'm not going to do an Instagram live stream because uh, we've, it's probably going to be too long, so I'm just going to film myself doing this. Yeah? Okay, so right right here, all we've done so far is plugged in the Wi-Fi the card and the free Wi-Fi router is connected to it because free works better than four according to the reviews. And now we're gonna plug in and see if it works.
Okay, so uh, guys, I have basically finished building my Hackintosh now. I'm very excited because I've set up Mac OS Catalina. Sometimes I may have to unplug the HDMI and plug it back in, but it works. Or maybe I've fixed that issue. But anyway, uh, thank you for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye. Okay, so we've got my Hackintosh. It's right there. So, since it's a Hackintosh, you have to boot it up. So, uh, we're going to boot macOS from Fraser's Hack SSD. Now, uh, if, if you see any screen gl glitches, it's not really a problem. I just have to unplug the HDMI and plug it back in, that's all. And then look, we've got the whole gaming setup, the microphone, this here, so I can do like gaming or live stream videos. It's honestly pretty sick, not gonna lie. Yeah, it does disconnect uh, for a quick moment. And then look, Fraser Cameron. Now, if I do my password, this is a very high display monitor uh, while well, like the TV, like for some reason, it's a little bit bright. But I can log in. And then right here, it loads up with macOS Catalina. Except I can't really see the, the stuff. Oh yeah, I remember living with that monitor. It was really weird. Because it's like not 1080p. So mainly right here um, with macOS uh, on here, the t this is a very small display. It thinks it's 4K for some reason, and unless I get a graphics card, it'll be okay. Uh, but yeah, look, we've got the LED stuff. We took out the fourth one because it was blocking a port that we needed. But we're gonna and we're gonna deal with that later. Uh, I've put inside one of these. Guess which one it is? You probably know. Just to be honest. Uh, so right here. Since it has no graphics card, I can't edit any videos, but I can watch YouTube videos with it. So, so far I'm going to have to use my MacBook with the Core 2 Duo, but I'm going to show you a lot of stuff that it runs perfectly well with. 